was raised in the London Bar of Newham. My parents had come from the Caribbean, Jamaica, so you could say I grew up in a kind of mixed culture, background experience. But the area, typical working class area. I've come from a family of eight, and I'm the second youngest. My brothers and sisters are quite a bit older than me, but I've got a sister who's a year younger than myself. Um, but I remember when I was much, much younger, playing out with my brothers and sisters, and um, we used to live in a cul-de-sac area. So we stayed there until I was about six, so they would have their friends and I'd be with them on their bicycles. Um, Mum bought me a little, little tricycle bike, if I can remember. It didn't have any pedals, but it had little wheels, so I could use my feet to pedal it, and that allowed me to play out. And that was really cool, actually. You're the little young sister of your big brothers and sisters, and you're out with them. It's cool, you know, that time. So you'd be on their bicycles and stuff like that. As I got older, um, obviously, they're not going to be one to hang around with their little sister. <laughs> so obviously the relationship changed, but that's a natural process. But my other sister, who is similar age to me, who's a year younger, we went to different schools, so she had developed her own friendships. I went to a different school, which was a special school, which was away from where I lived. So I didn't have many friends. Actually, I didn't have any friends who lived local to me. So most of my friends would have been my sister's friends when it was outside of school. So my experience, I'd say, um, you were saying, what was it like? Outside school, I didn't, I didn't have any friends. Um, but at home, I would have, it would have been just my brother and sister's friends I engaged with.